Professional cooks master knife skills in order to produce attractive products, improve efficiency, and maximize yield. There are machines that can slice and dice, but none completely eliminate the need for a skilled school nutrition professional with a sharp knife. First step is proper holding of the chef's knife. Grasp the blade with your thumb and index finger and grasp the handle with your remaining fingers, taking care to always keep fingers gripping the knife. Protecting fingers from cuts is important. Keeping your fingertips curled back, grip the product with your fingertips and keep your thumb tucked safely underneath. Now you're ready for slicing. Place the tip of the knife on the product, lift the heel and slide down the length of the food. With your guiding hand, use the front side of your curled fingers as a guide to cut slices of equal size. If diagonal slices are desired, hold the knife at an angle, again making slices of equal size. Use a dough cutter or scraper to easily transfer product. Avoid scraping using the cutting edge as this hastens dullness. Some products, such as herbs, should be finely sliced using the chiffonade method. Simply roll the rinsed herbs tightly and slice into fine strips. For quantity food production, don't remove the stems, just slice the leaves until you reach the stems. For smaller cuts, continue with a rocking motion to mince the herb. Oblique cuts are typically used with carrots for soups and stews. Cut the carrot on the diagonal, then roll one quarter turn and cut again on the diagonal, creating a wedged shaped piece. Cutting foods into the same size is important for consistent cooking times and eye appeal. Most sticks are julienne or patine. Dice cuts typically used in school nutrition are small quarter inch on all sides, medium half inch, and large dice three quarter inch. Sometimes rough chop may be used when exactness is not critical, such as dicing tomatoes for salsa, or if the recipe does not specify cut dimensions. At first, holding a chef's knife may feel awkward, but over time your practice with the correct techniques will pay off in speed and consistency.